Man, I'm having a good day today because I'm playing with turtles. Yeah. He's gonna go just like an Instagram photo shoot underneath the waterfall. Turtles here have grown so much that he's down. Oh no, he's upside down. Oh, they're snapping turtle. He's like some kind of salmon. Look at him go. That is awesome, man. Have a great time, man. Ha! What's going on, everyone? That is a fly river turtle. This, of course, oh, is a beautiful species that we have here at the camp. And this one has been living in this tub with some other turtles, like my Japonica. Okay, and we've got the Kreft turtle, which is over here somewhere. Now, what I noticed the other day is some of these little Kreft eye, these little guys, one of them had his marginals were kind of nibbled away, which happens if you have a larger tortor, turtle in there. And fly river turtles are known to be a little bit grumpy to other turtles. Now, luckily we're doing good here, but look, little bites there. So what I wanna do, since it's nice and warm again, is we're gonna pull out all these smaller turtles, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and bring them into the front ponds. I'm really excited because these guys are gonna be so happy to live there, including this Madagascar big head turtle. He's gonna come out to live. So we're gonna have a lot more turtles in the front ponds. But what we gotta do is we gotta shore up one or maybe two areas where I think the smaller turtles could potentially get out. Uh, so we're gonna dial that in and refill this, keep this fly river turtle in here, but we're gonna be moving turtles. I love musical turtles, it's a fun time. Uh, we're gonna have a really good day playing with turtles. Okay, let's get to it. Cersei's getting big everybody. Okay, we're here in the front yard, and of course this is a shared space between the tortoises and the water turtles. Sometimes we see a lot of the water turtles kind of wandering around the front yard, but I've noticed here at this gate, I'm not exactly the best carpenter, okay people? But I did make this gate a while ago. What happens sometimes is soil and stuff will push against the bottom of it and create a gap. So what I want to do today is I want to remove all these rocks, okay? We're going to pull these rocks out. And Matt, since you've got a giant brain there, buddy, I like picking yours uh, because I'm thinking of possibly what I should do is measure this out. I got my tape measure. I'm thinking I'm going to toenail in a board and we're going to run that board. We're going to cut it and just run it right there. I think about four and a quarter, four foot, and uh, yeah, one quarter. I think we can wedge it in there after I dig everything out and then toenail some uh, screws in, and then that'll hold the dirt back, but it'll also kind of be an extra barrier in case we have some of these smaller turtles that we're gonna be putting in here, like, um, you know, the little Reeves turtles, the Japanese Reeves turtles, things like that. Then they can't kind of sneak out. Uh, there's this weak point, and then there's also uh, another point over here, and I got a cool solution for that otherwise this entire thing since we've raised the fence is going to be perfect but right here is another weak point uh, you can see that I had a piece of bamboo on the other side that I tried to mitigate that problem with you see the bamboo but I think what I'll do is get another one of my small round poles and we're just going to kind of screw it to here and it'll keep the cool look I like but we're just gonna come up to about here and screw it in, and then that'll keep any of these little dudes from getting out in this little gap, which I don't think it's possible, but I wanna be totally secure. This fence, no problem, no one's getting out here. I feel pretty confident about that. Yeah, this is looking real good right there. So that's it, we gotta do two things. Let's get to it so we can get these turtles. Oh, watch out for the, that's mango, dude. You're killing all the mango blossoms, bro. The tortoises love that stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna get to work ripping out these rocks. I don't like the way they look anyway. We're gonna measure it out, cut a board, put it in, and uh, let's add turtles. See you in a bit.
everything. Hi, everyone. Okay, well, we, as you can see, have dialed in the uh, escape areas. I like what we did over there. Show everybody what we did over there, please. Clearly, these guys think that they're going to get a, a free open door out here. Yeah. So now we just need to populate the aquatic ecosystems from our friends at Aquascape with some more turtles, because let's be honest, that's what this channel's about. Reptiles, turtles, you know, all and, kinds of fun and stuff. And construction. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Bush construction. Uh, can, can, I got another word for it, but it's not family friendly. Uh, anyway, so um, here we go over here to our tubs. Let's go uh, get some turtles out of there. And we also have to fill the tub back up for the good old um, Fly River, but I first want to put my tools away. It's very important to put your things back so you know where they are, kids. You don't want to be like me running around for half an hour trying to find your tape measure screws and drill. <laughs> anyway, wait a second. I also need some kind of tortoise turtle slash uh, moving device. And now the fun part is this. You grab turtles. Yeah, these are the Japanese Reeves turtles. These they're cute. Amazing. Aren't they adorable? That's full size, guys. Pitch black. Yeah, they're just like awesome. jet black. Yeah, they're, they're cool, man. They're ninjas. They're from Japan. These aren't the ones with the pointy tail, are they? Uh, pointy tail? I don't, know what you, I don't know what you speak of. What I do have is beautiful, sleek, streamlined, fast design. The Krefs River Turtle. These guys are from New Guinea. Side neck species. Doink! And um, they get much, much larger. Elsia is the genus. Oh, they're snapping turtle. Oh, they want to get a finger. Go ahead, get my finger. Get my finger. Nah, never mind. All right, so we got that one. We got this one. We got another they're Japanese like, Reeves. Those guys look like UFOs. They are. They are definitely. I mean, they have that Gamera-like shell. Remember Gamera, guys? Guardian of the universe? I know there's a lot of Kaiju fans out there. Let me know in the comments below. Who's your favorite Kaiju? You know who mine is. It's not Gamera. It's Gorgira. Uh, anyway, I would love to go to Japan, by the way. I'm just going to throw it out there. If there's any reptile shows in Japan, let me know. If anyone wants to bring me on out to Japan, I'll go. I like samurai swords, ninja stars. I had a lot of fun as a kid, and I uh, would love to go see the land of the rising sun. Grappling land. hooks. What, what, oh, grappling yeah, grappling hooks, hooks yeah. tabai boots. Come on, dude. Everything ninja. Everything ninja, man. Uh, they're not throwing stars. They're shuriken. Shurikens. Yeah, shuriken. Come on, man. We grew up in the Northeast, Matt and I, and we spent a lot of time in the woods. Either I was looking for turtles or playing ninja. It was a lot of fun. Um, I liked some of this stuff, but I'm gonna leave it in here for the uh, other turtle, the Fly River, to kind of hang out in. You gotta be careful. Oh, look, Japanese Japanese wood turtle is gonna be living out front. This guy's gonna have a good old time. Uh, this is a, as its name suggests, it's aquatic, but it is also semi-aquatic, and that means he'll walk around on land. So we'll see this guy often, but I just love that uh, these guys are out here. Maybe I could find a Jet little gal. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Really, really pretty Super animal. Smooth. Super Let's smooth, see. dude. This is fun. Oh my gosh, let me go over here. Let me see what I, oh God. It's very slippy in here, friends. You don't want me to fall on my keystone. Ah, we have the two, look at this right over here. We have the two other turtles and here's the one you can see oh actually oh. yeah see he was nibbled right there and so, so that's by the terrapin that's right by there? most likely that's by the fly river um this one has a little bit of it we're gonna go ahead Ooh. and pull this off yeah it happens yeah see that just uh we're getting them out of that yeah. don't you worry when i notice something i move on it and then this is the final turd all right, let's go. Let's go put our turtles. Uh, what pond should we put them in? I mean, they're going to be able to decide which one they want to go in on their own. But um, I want to introduce them to either one. Now, the four South American turtles are really... <laughs> This is him responding to me asking him to walk just the slightly little slower. Anyway, uh, I think you're a bike rider. You can move faster, can't you, dude? Jeez. Backwards? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean come I on, can. man. You know, I can move pretty fast backwards. I can also talk backwards. Yeah, that, yes, what you're is. You're never damn you. I watched a lot of Ace Ventura. Still walking. Man, I'm having a good day today because I'm playing with turtles. Hey, let me use my new gate. 
Let's see if I can use the new gate, everybody. Come on over and check this out right here. We've got a really fancy device, and instead of just like going through a whole bunch of nonsense, I should have just talked to Matt immediately because he said, why don't you just put one of these down there? And guess what? I had one just sitting in a plastic bag, but watch, watch this apparatus. I know you guys are miserable. Listen to me talk, here we go. Doink, doink. Okay. Oh, it's so wonderful. I feel like a Mr. Rogers type character right now. Won't you be my turtly neighbor? You just need like a little locomotive that choo -choo's choo choo around. Choo-choo, it's Lady Lee. Okay, I like this pond. Mom's home. It's mom. There's mom. Mom was a very big influence in me. She got me my first uh, lizards and stuff like that. But it was my father who got me my very first turtle. Let me tell you something about my dad. As one of seven children, Pop didn't spend money frivolously. But I had dad all to myself one Saturday afternoon and he brought me to the aquarium. Now dad always wanted a really nice fish tank with fish, but he did without for all seven of us. But this day he saw a little red eared slider, or I did, that swam up to me and just kept swimming up to me. And you know what? Dad bought me that turtle and I had that turtle from six years old till I left high school. It was really cool. Anyway, we're gonna put the big head turtle in here. You know I like to put turtles on something so they can take their own breath and then they'll go in the water. This is gonna be a much more naturalistic environment for them. I'm gonna go ahead and put all the turtles, oh, what do you think? Put them on a slab? No, uh, I don't know. I think- It'd be interesting to see the difference. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put these guys, oh, he went in. Yeah. These guys are gonna disappear first. I'm gonna put two of these in here. Okay, here's our one with the nibbled shell. That'll heal, guys. Don't you worry, everything else looks fine. So let's go ahead, what, these guys are mentally fast. Really good, fast, speedy little dudes. Watch. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Come on, little one. Come on, little one. You're in water. Come on, little guy. Hey, little dude. Eh. 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 Oh, my gosh. Come on, dude. Get going, man. This video's already dragging. There we go. He's off. Look at how beautifully. Don't they glide? Yeah. Turtles are actually graceful when you get them in their watery environment. So very cool. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take, wait a minute. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry, I got confused. Here's the Japanese wood turtle. I was like, where'd he go? But uh, we're gonna put this guy, let's put this guy over here, come on. This is kind of fun. This is kind of a habitat that you would find them in a nice little stream, similar to the North American wood turtles. They, they can swim, but he's gonna, look at all these little snails, look at this. So many snails for the turtles to eat. I don't know if you guys can make that out, but they eat those animals. So we'll put him in here, put that snail back in there, and there's just a lot for him to graze on. The other fun thing I have in this pond is fossils, man. I'm trying to make like a river system. This is a crocodile uh, nose portion of a skull. There's his tooth sockets. There's his actual, oh look, he's going. Look, he's going. Go on, little man. He's gonna go just like, go do like an Instagram photo shoot underneath the waterfall. So cool, he's an influencer. He's gonna pose by a waterfall, probably in a yoga position. Um, I don't know, I don't know a Japanese yoga position, but I would call it downward facing turtle head. Anyway, I have this croc skull and this flowed downstream from there. But what's really cool, and this is kind of funny that I'm taking a little bit of a right turn on this video. In the meantime, he's walking around. But you can see how with moving water, if a, if a crocodilian died, it decomposes part of its fossil or part of its bone winds up here. And if you look down here, guys, this is just how it would be in nature. This flowed all the way down here. One of the jaw bones flowed all the way down. So that's what happens to fossils. That's why it's incredibly difficult to find completely intact fossils because if they die and then get blown downstream, man, wow. But I think it's kind of a cool little uh, little touch to the ecosystem. Like perhaps there were giant crocodiles that lived here. But right now we have a turtle on the loose. Check him out, he's moving. And he wants to go hide in some of those really cool plants that we got. So a really cool habitat for this guy. I'm loving it. I'll see you guy when I see you. There's plenty of bugs and food and all kinds of stuff for you to eat. Have a great time, man.
Okay, we're not done yet though. We want to get we want to get this uh, pond inoculated with some more turtles as well. So um, again, what I'm going to do? Look at these. I, I think these reef turtles are just spectacular. These are really, really cute little turtles. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna put them in here. I think this is fun. So again, these guys, highly aquatic, but I'll see them when I see them. We know that this whole enclosure is buttoned up nice. Look at this guy, he's going over the falls, I think. Is he crazy? No, no, he's fighting it. He's gonna slip, he's gonna slide, he's down. Oh no, he's upside down. What do I do, do I freak out? Nah, I'm not gonna freak out, you know why? We're gonna watch him. Oh. See what he does. Oh, he flipped over. Good job, little dude. Good job. How awesome, man. He's still moving. This guy's still chilling. Look at this guy. He's going upstream. He's like some kind of salmon. Look at him go. That is awesome, man. Each of them gets to explore what they want. So cool. And he's decided to kind of swim up against the current. That kid's going places in life. You got to fight against the current, man. Go your own way, okay? Don't go the easy way. Go the hard way. That's what I do a lot. Now, you know what? If you can do easy, do easy. Uh, do smart. How's that sound? Anyway, turtles are wedging themselves all over. His brothers and sisters are uh, pretty energetic, but this guy, um, yeah, he's gone. Wow. He's gone. Fast. Turtles, man. I love turtles. It's so cool that we have more of them now in this ecosystem. Let's come on over here. And we got the two final buddies. Oh, these guys are beautiful. And we'll see what happens on the next really, really rainy day. You got a little um, little cobweb right there. Let's get that off there. Okay, so on the next really heavy rain, what usually happens is the water turtles like to walk around during that time. Um, so I imagine that I'll wind up seeing um, some of these turtles utilizing different habitats. Um, so it's really, really cool. And here are some of the other buddies coming over to say hello. And eventually, guys, these turtles here have grown so much. The Central American sliders, they're going to move into the giant pond out back with the rest of the cooters and other sliders and stuff. So I think we've done a great job raising these guys up. I love them. They're very tame. They know me. Oh, there goes one. Come on. Come on. Hustle. Put a little hustle in there. There you go. So that's the goal. You know, I use these ecosystem ponds. Some of the turtles stay throughout their entire lives, but this is kind of a really cool intermediary um, habitat where there's a lot of places to hide, lots of food in them, and we can, of course, take baby turtles, raise them into nice juveniles, and you should feel the weight on this turtle. He is super heavy. Is it a he? Yeah, I think it's a she, but uh, really, really cool. Beautiful animals. I'm loving it. And they're getting old enough that I can actually sex them, which is neat. Let's see what this one is. This one looks like another female. Okay. Another female. I don't know if I even have a male on those. But that's so cool. Is it possible that I've seen that turtle grow bigger in the time in three months, four months? Oh, it's possible. Yeah, especially, you know, they, these guys are always kept, you know, comfortable. They're fed every day so look as you can see they're coming up to you see that they're looking for something to eat so yeah of course they can definitely uh, grow quickly I mean that's kind of what a turtle wants to do it wants to get big fast uh, to attain its full size so that it has less of a chance of becoming prey and in the wild as we know turtles and tortoises and reptiles in general are going to lay more than one egg usually and uh, that is the survival tactic that nature developed for them so that some get eaten but others may escape the eyes of a predator and then they wind up growing and uh, becoming adult turtles so it's really cool to keep certain species in captivity to aid them and keep them alive I love doing what I do I love to work with the Turtle Survival Alliance which a lot of these turtles have come from as well as the Turtle and Tortoise Preservation Group great people you can find them all on Online if you do a Google search and uh, get involved because just being able to share my home with these tortoises like the radiated and all the turtles we released back into this or into this habitat today uh, it's fantastic so you guys are gonna have to just stick around watch the channel see how they grow and uh, see when is the next time we come out here and watch them in the meantime, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and fill up that back stock tub again and that nice, beautiful, aggressive fly river turtle. 
is going to be rolling solo for a while. But that's okay. He's fat and happy. All right, guys. That's it. Thanks, Matt. Talk to you later, guys. Thanks for all your help. Um, guys, check it out. There's the wood turtle. See you later.